Okay, so funny story, it was actually a Facebook ad that I got while I was in the Sarasota airport flying home for the spring break last semester. And um, I had always flown with United, I never really have tried any other airlines. So the fact that they were sponsoring this contest that I was actually eligible to enter in, considering the fact that I'm you know, a female from New Jersey that does art and illustration, I was like, oh, this is perfect. I should just try it out and see what happens. Art has been something that I've always been interested in and definitely through this contest and through being at Ringling, I've been able to figure out who I am as an artist and what I like to do. I had researched a, a lot of colleges. I was trying to stay at least on the East Coast of the United States um, because again, I was the first child that my parents let go, so they were very sad about it. So I wanted to make sure I was going to a good place. And um, Ringling, I actually attended the pre-college program when I was a junior in high school. And after spending those four weeks here and making these like incredible friendships that I never had while I was in high school or elementary school, it was, it kind of just, I kind of just knew that this would be the place for me. People somewhat looked down on me in high school. They thought, you know, they'd see careers in the arts as something that's like, you know, easy to get into or like you don't have to work as hard or at the same time you won't be successful if you go into a career in the arts and I'm really trying to strive that like art is all around us and we need it everywhere and having artists and especially you know the younger generations coming up and becoming artists the world is constantly changing and we need those people to be creative. I tried to do my best and experiment with materials early on. I would draw like movie characters or like cartoon characters that I watched. Um, and just thinking about how many branches of art there are, I've been trying to encourage that, especially with my, um, my campaign with United, how getting a career in the arts can lead to success. And it, it will lead to success if you really push yourself and you know, anything is possible as I'm the prime example right now that anything is possible because here we are and I'm a college student and my art is going to be on a plane. I feel like a lot of people don't really know New Jersey how I know New Jersey. I live in the countryside, so it's a lot of natural and organic landscape, which I wanted to represent on the um, far end of the plane. And I decided to include the Red Mill in Clinton, New Jersey. It's where I'm from and I've known it since I was a kid. It's where I started taking art lessons and how I got into art. And it's one of the most historical landmarks in New Jersey. I guess it's worth mentioning that I do specialize in entertainment design here. And even though I'm not in the entertainment design major, um, I have this ideology of evoking emotion through my art. People can experience it rather than just like viewing it on a canvas or in a gallery. So having this plane is kind of the ultimate way of like having people experience an emotion while seeing my art. You know, they're gonna feel special when this plane pulls up to the gate and they're like, ooh, this plane looks different than all the other planes. Like we get a, we get a special plane to travel to wherever we're going. So yeah, that's why it's been exciting. I, I love the idea of emo of evoking emotion and having people feel excited to see my art and specials be part of it. <laughs>